going on, fellas? How you doing, man? Good to uh, see y'all. Welcome. See you. Congratulations. You. First Thank step, you. Final Four here in Berlin, Germany. Uh, how y'all feel? Uh, first. Pretty good feeling, man. Excited to be here. Mm -hmm. Excited that uh, we got a chance to win this uh, EuroLeague this season. So. Good. Same uh, here. Same here. I came back from the from the league because of this, you know, because of this competition. And uh, I'm excited for this group of guys, you know, they deserve. Uh, we play very good basketball throughout the whole year and uh, all four teams are 100% deserving to be here. First question, I'm going to start out with the toughest one. Give me the two teams that are going to be in the Final Four on Sunday. Bob. Two teams? Uh, I already know one, I hope. <laughs> one is us for sure. There you go. <laughs> and uh, let's say Loco. You're Loco. Okay. Loco. You know, I will go for sure us and uh, CSK, you know. I have played against CSK in the final. Kyle Heinz is my friend and a few others over there, so I just wish for them to be also. You want to see them in the finals? Yes. Is there anybody you prefer to be in the final or you don't care? As long as you're there. That's, that's all that matters, yeah, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. You, you, you told us to give the second team if we <laughs> was going to be the only one, you know? Exactly, exactly. Bobby, Izmir or Istanbul? Istanbul. Istanbul, huh? It's more to do is uh, bigger. Uh, um, it's a lot more good places to eat at. Good places to eat. There you go. That's the key. Olympiacos, Pireos, uh, you, cannot, you cannot put me in between these, you know. Uh, <laughs> no, no, we have to. That's, yeah, that's, that's part of the interview. You know, I live in Athens for six years. Right. Uh, Istanbul is a great city, but I always prefer Athens, you know. But like Bobby says, Istanbul is a very big city, much bigger than Athens, and uh, a lot of things to do. But, you know, six years, six years, or six years a lot of times in Athens. So I prefer Athens for now. Good. Hardest place to play in the EuroLeague? What do you think is the hardest place for you to play as far as atmosphere, gym? Um, and, and, and give me some of the, of, of the things that make it difficult too. You know, like sometimes we talk about the backdrop <coughs> of, of, of certain places. I'll say um, this season probably was Panathinaikos for me because the gym is really big, <coughs> it's really yeah. spacious, and uh, it's the, the, the court is kind of hard and hollow. It's a... Uh, it wasn't an easy place to get used to playing because it seemed like it was. I've always had problems in that place with the backboards. Yeah. And, and, and yeah. the yeah. backboards, the nets and, yeah, around the yeah. around. For me, I didn't go to Panathinaikos, but I play over there for sure. It will be Panathinaikos, but this season was Real Madrid, the first game you know that we play in top 16. You know, so that was a big game too. Yes, it was an important game. Important game. If they won, they won. it was more important yes, for, them for them than it was for you. Yeah. If we win them, they will not we will not meet them in the. Top eight, but it happened what it happened. That was for me, you know, the the, the biggest atmosphere. All right, we, we we dealt with the court. Now the player, toughest player to play against. Toughest player. Mm. These are the, these are the kind of questions you put mm. you on the spot a little bit, but. Um. I mean, for the big guys, you know, it's always some of the guys that always fight around the basket, move, you have to follow them. This this is for sure Reyes, you know. Uh, I have full respect for him. Uh, but he's always, regardless his age, probably how he aged more, he fight even more, you know. So <laughs> know. he's one of those guys who always move, you have to follow. He's always on offensive rebound, defensive, so you have to lose a lot of energy. I would say him. That's a good one. I didn't think about that. That's a good one. Yeah. For the big man. I, I thought you might say Heinz because of your... No, no, Heinz, Heinz is totally different. Heinz yeah. can, from point guard to the right. big guy, but let's say what we hate the most, you know, guys who don't leave you, you know, to rest, you know, how we have to yeah, relax always. on the court. He's always something, you know. Um, with me, I think it probably was, I think Nick Galatis, he played really good defense when I played against mm -hmm. him, so uh, I probably have to say him. All right. Who you give this year's MVP to, your league MVP? If, you, if, if it was up to you, if you had to hand it out, who would be your pick for MVP? With me? Of course, uh, the Colo had a good EuroLeague season, but uh, with me, I had to go with Epp. I had to go uh, give it to Epp because he really stepped up during that top eight series for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think he uh, was a dominant force on defense all season, so I'll say him. Yeah, he was amazing. Yeah. He, he, was, he was amazing. 
I'm, I'm checking out your tattoos, man. I'm all over your <laughs> tattoos over here, trying to figure figure some of them out. Some of them I've heard, some of them I haven't heard. But you have some team logos, right? Which the Red Star fans and the Olympiacos fans, I have. So here. you got Red Star, and you got yeah, the Brotherhood, Brothers. Brotherhood fans, Brotherhood teams. I that, played in both of them. Am I feeling Fenerbahce and Brotherhood? Is, is there anywhere less? Let's wait a few more days, man. Yeah, <laughs> Do you have to do you have to win the final four? No, no, no. It just course, when yeah. the season finishes, when I stay a few more years, when I feel great, you know, and they they've been great. They've been our sixth player. They help us a lot, especially in Real Madrid series. And they will be here also, a lot of them to help us here. So most definitely I always respect the fans. They they give us the boost, you know, when we play the games, when we're down. So I have full respect for them, so why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll be waiting for that time. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Give me, give me what you think about one of your teammates, Bogdan. Bogdan. Oh. Give, give me, give, I want to know everything about the kid. I, mean, I know he, he had a great year last year, MVP. Struggled a little bit in the Final Four last year. He's come back. I thought he showed a lot of maturity this year. But what about the inner? Uh, Bogdan, funny guy. <laughs> um, got a lot of a lot of swag to him. You know, he's not scared of the moment. You know, mm -hmm. he. Uh, likes to take the responsibility of uh, showing up when it's time to. And uh, overall, I think he got heart. So. Yeah. Hey, who's the funniest guy on the team? Bobby besides, besides you. Bobby this guy. Yeah. Really? No, I'm not funny. Yeah, he has <laughs> jokes. <laughs> he has character. Hey, who do y'all spend, spend the most time with? Is it, is it more group day? You got one person you spend? You know that the Americans spend time with I know, I know that, that, that's, that's one of the reasons for and the question. I was, I, was in, I, was in the, I was in the league, so Master I was thinking Dunn. I have some American in me. He don't want to no, hang out with like, me. No, that doesn't matter. It, it, it doesn't your, matter, it, man. It, it's based on your passport. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no, everybody. We have great team chemistry. Everybody joking with everybody. Yeah. We I enjoy right, being together. Right, let me put it this way. When you travel, when you arrived in Berlin, Germany, and you say, let's go grab some Nate. We oh, couldn't, right. man. We was tired. Who's the, who's the, who's the, well, okay. <laughs> Let's say you weren't tired. Yeah. Who's the first guy you grab? Uh, Jan. Yeah. Yeah. Me? Yeah. You know, first of all, I don't go out to eat a lot. We go directly here to eat. <laughs> Jericho Brado is already fixed meeting. When is meeting? When is this? So you have few, few little time to rest. No, not Jericho. You go directly to bed to rest, man. You know what's going on throughout the whole day. I mean, when it's day, when it's day off or something like today, you're gonna see somebody in the lobby or something. Hey, let's go. You can always catch Eb because Eb mm -hmm. wanna go and he explore everything around. around. You know, he he loved it. You know, and you got the you got the American. Yeah, I'll be. Uh, you see, he admit. Nah, it has nothing to do with America. It's just. <laughs> it's just. I get it. It's pretty cool. I get it. But I'll be with uh, Rick. I'll be around him too sometimes. No, he but he always got his friends with him, so hey, he man, got an entourage. Hey, man. I was always uh, the big guy has to hang out with the point guards just to yeah. get the ball every now and then. But he doesn't get the ball that much. So. Nah, I mean, hey, I don't, I don't he's a though. shooter, man. You know. Exactly, he's a shooter. Uh, you struggled, you, you struggled with the Rodovich in one of these finals, didn't you? Mm. I think Olympiakos. Uh, Euroleague or Greek? I think in, it was Greek. In, you know, in it always was Greek. Greek. We, we, in the Greek league, we, yeah, we with Panathinaikos. Yes. We didn't meet them in Euroleague, you know, with Olympiacos, but uh, throughout the Greek Greek league, you always struggle with Jake, you know. Well, what, what's the difference of, of playing with him and playing against him? I mean, he always, uh, like, you know, Spanuli said this thing about Jake. He's maybe the best and only coach who can recognize situation in, in a split of a second. So that, that, that's a big, big thing, you know, for any coach to see in a, during the game to change something and to recognize. And when we played the, the Greek league, only after one time out he can change the defense mm -hmm. to a certain player, how to play. So that was the biggest thing, you know. And plus you see him on the bench, you know, he's scary <laughs> enough, you know, if you don't know him, you know, you know, with all this yelling and everything. So, he, he, you know, take out of your attention, you know, you want to see what's going on. But he's a great coach, he's, he's one of the best and the best, you know, in uh, Europe. So we're great to have him, you know, to learn from him. Yeah, well, I always said he was great, not only at recognizing, but then making the, the proper adjustments. Oh, most definitely. On, on that, that, that quick move, you know, he's, 
he's one of the better ones with that. But if you don't adjust, you sit on the bench. <laughs> you on the bench. It's as easy as that. And you don't have to see that red face yes, yelling yeah, at no. you the whole time. <laughs> I told him, I said, sometimes I think you're going to have a heart attack with that face gets no, on. No, I right. don't think. If you're on nah. the bench, he's really going to yell at you. Hey, that's true, too. Yeah. He gets, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Regardless if you're on the, ben- on the game or somebody makes a mistake on the game, and he yells he at you. He you, did I say that? Do you have to do this? Especially like if it's a big guy. If oh. a big guy makes a mistake, he'll come get all the big it. guys. <laughs> yeah. the the- you would think you did it. <laughs> you just have to accept I'm, it and not, it. To, yeah. not to make the same mistake on the court or it's going to be worse. All right, best question. It's only what I got left for you, for both of you. What's the victory going to be like? What's the celebration going to be like if y'all win? Oh, man. It's going to be crazy. Uh, number one, am I invited? Definitely invited. You're definitely right. invited. All right, good. That's, but, that's the most important part. I mean, for me, I think, you know, the whole country, <laughs> Turkey is, uh, want to see a Turkish team win the EuroLeague. Right. So it's going to be, I think it's going to be a real big deal. But um, everybody, the Fender fans, most of the people in Turkey. Also for the Turkish basketball, you know. It's gonna be, they won the Europe Cup, Galatasaray, you know, to win EuroLeague in the same country, it's a big thing. Yeah, it and they, they, This is second time that they've been in EuroLeague. The Fenerbahce, and it's a big thing, you know. Everybody's waiting, everybody's going crazy, you know, even now. With the tickets, with the crowd, Literally. we're gonna have like home court. Plus there's a lot of Turkish people in Germany, mm-hmm. in Berlin, so. It's up to us, you know, to go slowly, game by game, not to think about so, the, the. So you the guys win. are gonna make Shell go into a god in another country. Uh, not only he's other. He's already a god, man. <laughs> Just you know. one more country. <laughs> hey guys, we want to thank you for your time, man. It's been great. I know you thank got you. A little bit earlier this morning, but I appreciate no your time and, and your openness and, and everything. Good luck to y'all. Appreciate thank you. you, boss. Thank you. Uh, thank you.